You know, there, if you ever want evidence that we are not tech savvy, that so much of what you hear on the media these days is baffling hot air of tech heads, not real people, and not everyone has a smartphone or a pile of apps or airdrops, pictures all over the place, then look at the results of the Opinion Compares survey into what we think about Spark Sport and their chances of making the gargantuan shift required to stream our national sport. Actually, before you look at that, look at the last census. Part of the reason it turned out to be the catastrophic mess was the government department concerned had clearly been sucked in by all the buzzword bollocks spouted about how switch on we all are, how tech savvy we all are, how connected our modern society is. A decent chunk was stuck online and none of us did it, hence the whole thing imploded and the head of stats had to quit a couple of weeks ago in humiliation. Now to be fair to Spark, it's sort of not their fault too many of us don't have a clue, but, and this is the critical corporate issue, it is their fault problem. 57% of us had a negative response to streaming, according to this research. That's not surprising. 31% are annoyed. In other words, this is what I've been trying to say all along. Spark took something that was dear to us, rugby, and changed the rules, and in changing the rules, they dumped the problem on our lap. It's like the accountant telling you, you can do your own taxes this year, I'm on holiday. 16% we're angry. Odd response, really. Not a lot of point being angry about something you can't really control. Now, where it got or gets interesting is, of course, it requires the punter to actually do something about it. Having changed the rules, we needed to think. We needed to act. What was streaming? What do I need to do to get it to my place? And then came the inevitable issues. One, you need good internet. If you don't have it, basically you're stuffed. Hence, you're probably angry again. And two, you, you might have to buy some stuff. Chromecast TV. Uh, you need to pay Spark. You're already paying Sky, if not Lightning box or Netflix, but three, three was the killer. Not only are you grappling with all of this stuff, it then has issues. It doesn't work. And the media go nuts because everyone loves to rain on trouble. And when you read about the trouble, because let's be honest, the chances of you actually watching the sport that went wrong was negligible, you then panicked and maybe you got angry again. They're cocking up my sport. How can they do this? Uh, that's on Spark. They should have been a lot better than they were for reassurance's sake. But here's the simple truth. In a free market where sport is for sale, they saw a gap and they grabbed it. That's competition. Maybe blame Sky for being asleep at the wheel. Why be angry at a company with an eye for a main chance? Yes, streaming is different, but so was satellite. So was colour. So was moving pictures. Another simple truth. The simple truth is we don't like change. But what is also true is Spark carry a responsibility. Tech and modernity is already well and good, but they've dipped their toe into a new business with culturally the most significant thing they could possibly have tried. So they simply have to deliver. If there was anger at the concept, wait till you see the anger if they can't deliver.